Hi everybody, Dave Chodowski live with you at Firestone Country Club. The Bridgestone Invitational starts Thursday. Today players started to arrive for practice and that includes Tiger Woods. He was out there bright and early this morning for his practice round. He looks rested, says he's 100%, best he's felt in years. He also said he's here to win, a place he's done so seven times. But he hasn't won in nearly two years. Injuries have kept him out since May 12th. So what has kept him going? trying to beat these boys so much fun yes it is speaking of fun that's Brown's training camp but we have a lot to get to that's not so fun but we start with something you will like to hear and that is this the Browns have finally signed their first round pick that is Phil Taylor out of Baylor thankfully Phil is finally in the 21st pick the big defensive tackle they need him and they finally get him in he'll be in this week he signs a four-year deal now to that bad news I'm talking about and the injuries continue to haunt this team Reggie Hodges tore his left Achilles tendon today, planting his leg. He wasn't even touched, but he is out for the year. He will have surgery. He had a great season last year, and remember, he was the holder for place kicks too. Boy, will he be missed. So, now the Browns need a punter. They have to look for one. How about Rob Long? He's a punter out of Syracuse. Last year for Syracuse, he had an average of 43.8 yards. He's flying to Cleveland today. The Browns are the only team that are interested in him. And how about this? He had a brain tumor removed in December. The Browns need help at cornerback. You know that. Eric right left, and they were already thin. Today, they agreed to terms with Dimitri Patterson. Last year with the Eagles, 16 games, nine starts, four picks. Time now to get to the plays of the day. And let's start in the red zone. And we have Colt McCoy to Jordan Cameron, one of the only tight ends really right now in camp. Nicely done there. Cameron, Peyton Hillis, we saw him yesterday. Let's take a look at him today. Gotta love when Hillis is unstoppable boy, isn't he? Ah, uh, Colt McCoy, a little miscommunication here. Buster screen, and the kids like to call that the pick six. Practice closed tomorrow to the public. You can see the Browns again Thursday at 845. How about the Indians last night? They were playing bad, and then they come back and get that big win over the Red Sox as they take game one of four. They'll try to make it two in a row tonight as we take a look at the matchup. David Huff on the hill for the Indians. The Indians are 54 and 52. They're two back of the Tigers right now. So, Ramona, they'll try to get another win against the Red Sox. And scheduling note to tell you about, Wednesday's game on Channel 3 will now be on Thursday. So Thursday on Channel 3. Okay.